Have you played these before? Yes. Oh yeah. I have beaten the story, and I have beaten, I've beaten two stories because I mm. did Claire's story, and I've beaten one of the ghost survivors. I don't know how. And guess which one it is? What? The hard one. The four star one. Is that the the, uh, the girlfriend? No, you're um Where's like a military hunk? dude. Uh, oh, you're hunk! And you played the tofu? This guy. Oh, yeah. Forgotten soldier. Yeah, hunk. Ooh. That one's sad. T no time to... Mo I mean... The story itself isn't really sad, it's just the prelude that's sad, really. Yeah, because he ends up... Because he doesn't talk about it at all throughout the thing. <laughs> He's not just like, my daughter just died. <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn. There it goes again. Uh, what the fuck is your YouTube thing again that you're starting? It's called Casting Couch Gaming. Casting Couch Gaming, that's right. Let me see if it's sanctioned by anybody, that way we can pick it up. Oh, you mean make sure it's an original name? Yeah, like it's not... Damn it. Uh, there's Facebook pages. Casting Couch Gaming. Fuck off. No! No! And there's a YouTube channel with 38 subscribers and 11 videos. It's Casting Couch Gaming? Yep. Damn it. Quite recent, too. Three months ago looks like their first video. No, well, guess you gotta find a bit different name. Yeah. That's why I came up with Blarp Gaming. Because it, Blarp's not even a word, so it's just a noise. It is. Blarp. It's actually inspired by um, the way that Aaron and Dan name their characters on like Pokemon and. Oh yeah. And they're different Link characters. They just kind of make a noise and spell it out. Blarp. And so I was like... I, I was playing, uh, I think it was Dark Souls Remastered, actually, on my friend Andrew's Switch. And I was like, what should I name my character? Blarp. Ha! Huh. No, all right. It's going to be Blarp. And then I told him that another friend of mine and I were going to do a YouTube channel at some point. And he was like, do it now. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> what should it be called? And I was like, Blarp Gaming. And I was like, that actually doesn't sound too bad. And he was like, don't do it. And I did it. You did it. And you I did, did it, it. Well. it. You did it well. You I did not. My socks off? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Oh, that's what that smell is. Oh, wow. That's really hitting the sinuses. <laughs> That's... As if all that garlic didn't earlier. Oh my god, yeah. You know, I would really love to not have this in the background. Oh, is that what we're waiting for? What a bitch. Mom, Mom stop! Mom! Mom, you're ruining my YouTube video! Mom! Why is it the big shirt? Why are you wanting big shirt, Bobby? I, I wanted big shirt to keep me warm at night when I do not have girl. Why are you wearing a big I shirt, Bobby? Because I do not Bobby? have You've girl. You've been working so hard. I have not today. I had off today. That means I have sat in this bed all day and masturbated three times. Your father masturbated three times? Yeah, into your mouth hole. How do you think you were conceived? <laughs> I was conceived at a family video, not family video, Hollywood video. That is true, you know your father. It is true. You know and your we, father. And we, we actually exclaimed that on one of the Blurp Gaming videos. You were conceived? You were conceived on the night of September 11th, 2001. <laughs> I knew you were going to go 2001. You should have just said 2000 and be like, if you were one year younger. Yeah. That'd have been bad. We yeah. would blame you for a lot of shit. We would have blamed you for everything. You know, they always blame Bush for all of that. But I have a feeling that you were the one behind all of it.
You're just like your father. Yeah, fuck. You ever like? You ever have like an itchy asshole? Yes, I hate it. That's what I'm having right now. I'm not even trying to be funny. Like this is this is a health hazard. Yeah, I hate it. And then you're like, especially when you're in jeans, and so you can't really reach up in there. So you kind of do like yeah. how bears scratch yeah. their backs, but with your ass. Well, and then you try to itch it with your fingernails, but then they freaking break because you're a damn witch and you don't know how to properly manage your time because you're too busy masturbating and you cut your penis and it really hurts to jerk off in the next go around because there's scabs all over it and you don't want to hurt yourself but at the same time okay now you've really lost me I want to hurt myself yeah me neither I said I do nothing also we can actually start now please Ghost survivors. Oh, we're doing Ghost Survivor. I mean, yeah, because, you know, I already finished the story on the channel. And, and the other this. story on the channel. You What? I never watched this. You never watched this one? I got uh, some accessory for you. Uh, you healthy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. First, we got to say hello to the audience. So, hello, audience. How the fuck are you doing? I hope you drinking water. Uh, but not drowning yourself uh, like this guy. Uh, 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 and then I introduce you. This is my friend Zane. He was in Sebastian's dinner party. I played Norris. He played Norris. Hello. I got to pull his hair. It was real kinky. You did. That was the first day of shooting. That was the first day of shooting. Wow, that... We got we got well acquainted. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> well, man. Yeah, the first day we met, it was like this guy's gonna be a ch this guy's gonna be a treat. To act with, and look at us now. <laughs> look at us, uh, telling a tale of a future that never was, of a night that never dawned. Alright, so basically, as I think you know, his daughter died. Yeah. The guy who owned the gun shop. Yes. And then, he, like, heard on the radio, like, hey, you gotta, you gotta not mourn over your daughter, you gotta come over here real quick, real quick. And so he's like, alright, bye Emma, I gotta go. Alright, Robert Kendo. And he was about to shoot himself. Oh. No, don't do that. Just, huh? Don't do that. Oh. Oh, what? Uh, bye. Oh. oh. Um. Um. Oh, yeah, uh, and then I put this accessory on. Oh, that's kind of cool. I know. Ooh, he looks like, um. What's that movie called? Isn't it called, like, uh. Predator? Mm. Well, he kind of looks like that, but I'm I'm thinking more of those like aliens with like the big brains and the 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 group not green um like the round helmets or whatever. I can't remember. I Alien think or like attack from Mars or something like they attack from Mars. War of the Worlds. Yeah. Mars needs moms. Oh my god, that was a <laughs> box office masterpiece. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh no, you're poisoned. I'm poisoned. Why, why, why you, why you get close to me? Because, okay, so the thing about the ghost survivors is that the zombies in each one have a certain upgrade. In this one, some of them are poisonous, and if you shoot and kill them, well, if you kill them just in general, uh, the ones with the purple mist there, mm -hmm. if you kill them, they explode with poison. Oh. Is there any way to mitigate that, or...? I mean, like, the poison goes away on its own after oh. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when they blow up, I mean. Uh -huh. If you get poisoned, you have to eat a blue herb or else you're poisoned. No! Until you die. I'm Robert Kendo. I smoked five cigarettes a day. But then I realized that coronavirus was around. Dude, you're not supposed to talk about that. Oh, yeah, we'll get demonetized on this YouTube channel that doesn't have monetization. I mean, the... the. I mean, the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, let's talk about that. Oh, gosh. Oh, I hate liquor so much. Fuck. Oh, psh, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. What oh, difficulty are you on? Oopsie poopsie. Uh, there is either the difficulty that it sets for itself or practice. Uh, this is three stars. Oh, no, you're dead. No. Would you like to try it? 
Oh god, sure. Sure, I'll give it a You go. also have to conserve your ammo because you don't have much. Oh, <laughs> Which no. is why I tried to just run by those first two zombies. Oh, why am I so nervous? Because you're on the spot. You're recorded. I am. I haven't played Resident Evil in so long. I haven't played in so long. Uh, oh, yeah. So how was your day? How was work? It was all right. I mean, it was work. It was work. Oh, gosh. What, what is work? Um, What is work? Uh, For you, what is your work? My work? I work at a clinic. Okay. And That's what uh, I thought. Yeah, I register patients and I take temperatures. So you're just kind of the front desk person. Yeah, yeah. I'm a. Uh, every every day is a new thing for me. It's either a person who refuses to wear a mask properly, or someone who's been exposed to coronavirus. Or uh, uh, the Backstreet Boys. The Backstreet Boys uh, reunion. Whew. Myself, Zane right? is also a Game Grumps fan. I am. Which is why I felt okay to just call it the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. But yeah, see? He, he disperses a bunch of poison. Which, I think also, if there's a zombie that's not poisonous, if they get exposed to it, then they become poisonous. Just get away! God! God! Am I shooting so bad? Oh, no, 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 please! Please! You don't know what work for me was like the past few few days? Oh my gosh, yes, you said you had something for me over a text, but you didn't want to tell me until... Until, until we were recorded. Please, um, please, okay. don't hear this. So... Are you good? <laughs> oh yeah, that was my tummy. Um, I, you're, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Am I going to be interrupted? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> don't no. forget to reload also. Oh crap. Oh um, god, oh, oh. So, at work, I'll just be straight up, there's this girl that I really like. Alrighty. We will call her Denise. Okay. I am not one for self-confidence. Yeah. Especially when it comes to telling feelings of romance. Right. But I was talking to a friend of mine and about it, and she was like, Dude, you should totally ask for her number. I was like, ha, 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 I was just gonna, like, flirt a little bit, and then she would be gone forever after Spirit Halloween closes. Oh. Um. And she was like, no, you should ask for her number, or give her your number. Or, you know, just, like, tell her straight up how you feel and stuff. And I was like, no. But so she hyped me up, and she was like, the next day that you work with her, tell her. It's like, fucking fine. Instead, I wrote a note and put it, taped it to a rock. <laughs> yes. And because at Spirit we have to wear aprons, that's our, like, uniform. And so I decided I was going to put the rock with the note yes. in her apron before she got in. Because she got in, like, two hours after I did. Yes. And the note was just, like, uh, before we had had a conversation... And we weren't talking romantically, but at one point she made the comment of, I never make the first move. So on the rock I said, since you never make the first move, and then on the other side I wrote my number. Ooh. And then I stuck it in the apron. And then for two hours I just, like, freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> I just see you sweating bullets like, oh fuck, I was just gonna say, she has the same feeling for me, or doesn't she? And then she got in, and she hugs me every time she sees me, too. Uh huh. Oh fuck. Which is part of what allowed me to be hyped up to, yes. put it, to give her my number and stuff. And. She gave me a big hug, like she always does, and then put her apron on and went to work. Didn't say anything. Didn't, like, pull anything out of her pockets. Uh-huh. And so I went back to work as well. Holy <laughs> fuck! Oh, God! No, no, no. And then... Sorry. What? Toward the end of my shift, I realized she still hadn't said anything. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to talk to her in some way to get her to 
look at look in the pocket because she's just you know being a dumbass and not looking in the pocket <laughs> like she doesn't feel it and so as i was clocking out she gave me another big hug before i left and i was like you should text me <laughs> and she goes i don't have your number and i said are you sure about that yeah and i told her like are you sure there's not like a rock in your apron pocket <laughs> and she emptied her pockets in front of me and there was not a rock. <laughs> oh no! Did you put it in the wrong apron? I put it in the wrong fucking apron. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> and so I very quickly went to the bed, oh, and I was just like, well, somebody has my number in their pocket, and they're in for a surprise. Oh, they're gonna get, oh man, they're gonna be like, oh, daddy, daddy and coon. And, uh, also, you can get in that backpack and yes. find some good stuff. I will kill this son um, bitch. You killed him. Yes. Yes. But so I, I told her, like, well, I put my number in somebody's apron then. And she started dying of laughter <laughs> at the idea that it was somebody else's. Oh and that boy. was that was on Sunday. And I had off on Monday. <laughs> oh, and then also before I left, she shoved a piece of paper and pen in my hand and said, like, give me your number. Ooh. Uh, but so then Monday came around. I don't I didn't work Monday. But uh -huh. I was just like, oh fuck. Today's the day that I get a text both from what I say, Denise and somebody else. No text came from either of them. <laughs> For those wondering, Denise still hasn't texted me. Aww. But no, no random other person texted me either. So I was like, okay, I'm safe. Maybe I, maybe it didn't even go in an apron. Maybe it just fell on the floor. And that's that. Like, maybe nobody will find it. I went into work yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday being Tuesday. Yeah. And I, I went to move something at the store. And heard like a kind of a crinkling thing. Oh, no. oh, and I was like, fuck, this fuck, 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 fuck. this thing that I'm moving doesn't crinkle, what the fuck? And then it went away. Uh -huh. So I was like, oh, okay, that was something a customer was doing. But then, like, ten minutes later, I had to bring out a stepladder to move a mask onto the higher shelf. And I heard it again. And I was like, okay, what the fuck is this? There's something in my pocket. And so I went to put the ladder back, and while I was back there, I reached in my pocket, and there was a note. Not from Denise. <laughs> it sure is, wasn't it? No. No? It wasn't a rock, it was just a note. And it was like, hey you, you really made my day with your note. Here's my number. Oh, fuck, no, no, no! And it was like, here's my number, because I'm still too nervous to make the first move. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll call this girl Michelle. This whole conundrum. So it was signed by Michelle. And I looked at the schedule, and she was in work yesterday until, like, 10.30 p.m., and I had gotten in at 5. Yeah. So I was like, oh, fuck, can I go five hours oh, no, no, of no, no, avoiding no. her? <laughs> because that is not meant for her. No, no. And then, like, she walked by me one time and, like, smiled at me, and I was like, <laughs> uh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> And that's when you cut to me looking like uh, Jordan Peele in that meme where he's just, <laughs> he's just very just profusely sweating. Just sweating his dick hole off. <laughs> I, I have the controller now, by the way. Yeah. I, I and, didn't do so good. And I stayed like that for like two hours. Oh, man. And then she texted me while we were both at work. And she was like, are you sure that rock was in the right pocket? No, and so I went up to her in person and I was like, I, I really like uh, Denise. And she was like, oh, so it was for her? And I was like, yeah. And she started cracking up. Oh, man. Well, at least she had like, a sense of humor. Right. I was like, thank God you're understanding about that rather than just like, oh, no, I thought we had a future. I know. Like, I, I'm always, I'm always going to be waiting for that one moment. Where you accidentally make that move and you're just like, fuck. Uh, oh, piss. It worked earlier today. I played this on my own earlier today and I did good. How do you, how, how can you prove it? 
If I can prove it. You didn't record it, so how can you prove it? If it's not on video, then it didn't happen. Sorry about it. You have a point. Hashtag 2020 facts. Yep. 2020 facts. Hashtag. There's a fucking ladybug in my light. <gasps> Where? Just in oh. the light. It's moving around. I think that's a ladybug anyway. I hope it's a ladybug. I don't want it to be any other kind of bug. Either way, it's gonna die. Best case scenario right there. Oh, yeah. Oh. I love, though, hearing me be like, oh, make sure you, you know, conserve your ammo, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then you just go on a fucking trigger-happy spree. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't... Lose and then, cut to me, I have used one bullet so far. Yeet. Okay, you know what? When you're right, you're right. Why are these people carrying around... Oh, wait. This is like a main thing. I was going to say, why are people always carrying these... Uh... Wow. That was... Whew. Why are they carrying these flamethrowers around? That's what I want to know. I don't know, man. Have you played Resident Evil 3 yet? The remake? No. I was going to, but then I saw meatball. how much money it cost. It's a spicy meatball. Uh, Nemesis is terrifying, for those of you who haven't played it. I've seen some of it. I saw Markiplier play some of it. Dude, fuck Markiplier, dude. Markiplier is what got me to Game Grumps, so... Ooh, Markiplier's dumb. Just kidding. I like Markiplier. Because I, I, back in, uh, gosh, 2015? Wow. Uh, he was playing the first Mario Maker game. That was a whole ass five years ago. Yeah. It feels so long. It is so long, and I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, and he was... For the first, like, whole episode, basically, he was just talking about the Game Grumps playthrough of it. And so I was like, <laughs> who the fuck are these Game Grumps? Oh, shit. Not what I game meant. Game Grumps? Oh, wow, I'm so much better better than Zane. Ooh, look at me. I haven't used any ammo. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Although you physically did get farther than me. So I, I don't know why I'm making fun. I got about the same pl place as you, though, to be completely fair. This is the worst I have done since, like, See, the first time I played. <laughs> it's because we're on the spot. But I've been on the spot. I lo spot loves me. That is true. Yeah, as Sebastian in Sebastian's dinner party. Trailer. Right, maybe I should channel the inner Sebastian. Sebastian with a capital A. What should we tell the people listening to this? There's nobody listening to this. Oh, that is true. <laughs> Alright, guys, well, we had fun. Like, seriously, whenever somebody's like, ah, oh, but the audience, I'm always just, there's no fucking audience. There's no audience. None of you people are out here. <laughs> we have one video that's gone over a thousand views, and the second most popular video is like, I mean, like, the second most popular video is a fluke, but it's like 500 or something like that. Wow. And then below that is like 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... I also work at a library. A library? Uh, a library, yes. A real live library? A real live library in the Pokedex. Why does it lie all the time? Why does Barry lie? Pokedex, scan library. Library! Library. A lying berry. Commonly found in quiet areas of the forest. Commonly found up Zane's ass. I am. They they love me there. Like it's ninety. This is an ego trip. <laughs> like they like. Okay, so I. I guess I'll take everybody on a ride. Uh, I an used ego to ego ride. I get sure. You know what? If it's for you guys, or you know what? I'll just or do girls. it for Darren or girls. I'm very lonely. Please, for the love of God, if you're if you're of age, please. If you're of age. I'm going to end it that's a very, soon. That's a very important discernment to me. Oh, yeah. 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 Dude, they're catching a lot of child predators like of 2020. Chris Hansen, where the hell are you? Why aren't you getting a little bit of this uh, clout? Um, oh, that friend that hyped me up just messaged me. <gasps> oh, cool. You've seen her before, actually. I have? Yeah. Uh, at Boys Night. 
She wasn't at Boys Night, but she was Snapchatting me at Boys Night. Oh. And you were like, oh. Is she, uh... No, she's not available. Damn it. Neither are you in a second. She's... Oh, you are dead. Nope. No, no, you're dead. You're not dead. You're not dead. <laughs> nope, you're dead. You're nope, not you're dead. Nope, you're dead. Dude, I want his fucking flannel. Uh, okay, anyway. Um, uh, oh. Get that, off me. That surprised me. Get off me. Just get off me. Oh, no, you're about to die. Yes, please. Bit, get to the bit of point the sword. No, please. Please, Darren. Darren, Darren, Darren. Darren, 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 Darren. Okay. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. Yeah, I, I farted a little bit. Anyway, library. They love you. Yes, at the li- Okay, so I needed more money, so I had to go to the go to another place um, to get money because, you know... <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> the Backstreet <I'm> Boys... <laughs> the Backstreet Boys reunion has not been the best this year. Um, as opposed to last year. Yeah. Yeah, last year was kind of the pits, but not nearly as bad as this. Uh... So I work at a clinic and and a library and a library, <laughs> and uh, they told me multiple times we're having Zane withdrawals, and I was just like, oh man, do I influence people that much at the library? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure at one point Karina and I both said that as well. <laughs> really? After shooting, man. There now I'm physically much farther than you. Damn it. Why are you gonna rub it in? But also check this out. So there's there's this thing, there's this item dispenser. You can take out one item out of three. What are you getting? Green herb. Good boy. I, I raised him I'm not him taking right. it right now. I raised him right. Because there's this guy, right? He's, he's a friend. Is he a friend? Does he attack you? Well, yeah, if you let him get too close. Oh no, there's three purple dudes. Oh no, there's... One, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty sure they're all purple dudes. Oh, God. That makes my balls hurt. But this guy. He's going to be your best friend. This guy. Why did it take you so long to get down here, Jeremy? Dude, I ask him that every time. Jeremy. So like, this guy's going to be my best fucking friend here in a second. So I'm going to come over here and aggro all the zombies. Aggro them. Then, oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> And then you get past him if you're good, and you shoot his explosive thing and kill them all. Oh, them in one no. hit. oh you get past him. Okay. Man. See, that's... he's my best friend. We're t that's just what friends do. Friends eat each other. Thank you. If your friend happens to be a girl. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I told you about that TikTok, right? What? Uh, this guy was doing a trend of like telling your best friend that you're horny, but it, his best friend was a girl. Mm hmm And so she like walked in the room, and he's like laying down. He's like, "I'm so horny right now. Like, I just gotta be honest." And she goes, "Why are you, why are you telling me this? Do you want me to suck your dick?" And then she like gets up on him. She's like, "I'll do it." Please. And then she made a, a secondary video after that where she was like, people are always asking me, like, would she actually have done it? Yes, I would have done it because that's the kind of friend I am. And that goes for my female friends, too. Wow. I was like, damn, you're a real, uh, real trooper. Yeah. You know, that's a fantasy of mine from friends to lovers. Yeah. That's not even a joke. <laughs> I said that for people to listen to. A lot of strange yours. Uh, oh. So. Oh. Do you watch any uh, Super Mega? Yes, I love Super Mega. I haven't gotten into their YouTube, but I was listening to one of their podcasts earlier today. And. Uh, excuse me. At one point, Ryan had like said something, and then was just like, I. Sh I should stop myself right now because it feels like I'm just having a conversation with you and that can go down some <laughs> dangerous territory. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. I, I love Matt and Ryan, though. Me too. They're goof. They're, they're a couple of goofballs. A couple mm -hmm. of good old boys. Couple of cards, those two. Couple of good old corn fred and raised American boys. Corn fred? 
Is that from Scooby Doo? It's just a piece of corn <laughs> just with Fred. an ascot. Scooby Doo. I can't do Fred. I can't do Frank Welker's Fred. You kidding me? Nobody can top Frank Welker. Nobody can top. No, no. No. Okay, that. Yeah, dude, it's the ladybug up there. I told you that about that. Fucking bug, just like. Ah, eat my ass. Just dancing around. Yeesh. Yes. Yes. My hype up friend just goes, Did you get a text from her yet? No, I didn't. Thanks for bringing it up, though. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up. No, it didn't kill it! No! Oh god! Oh. There, now it's dead. That one's not, though. I've seen some shit. Uh huh? Dude, the, the ghost survivor story with the girl, though? That sucks. There's an area with three liquors at the same time. Are you shitting my, my no, right now? No, I'm not shitting. There's three liquors and a zombie with a backpack, but you need to kill the zombie in order to get a key that's in the backpack so that you can leave the area. Wow. That's not clutch. No, it's not. And the most I've been able to do is kill one of the three liquors. And you have to just dodge and weave and hope that you... Don't get killed by the other two. Don't get too close to that one. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Fuck. I am not a good shot. Did I just that. kill him? Yeah. That's why he exploded. Yeesh. Yeesh. No, they're not permanent. Like, they can't turn back, right? Once they're dead, they're dead. Okay. Okay, go back to my shark. Yeah. <sighs> how many more enemies do we got? Uh, how many more enemies? Uh, how a many? Lot. Uh, a lot. And you're gonna want shotgun shells no if you if you get to the end. No, 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 no. I can only imagine what my parents downstairs are thinking. Are they going to come after me? I really don't want them to. No, I'm going to come after you. Oh. And then you come again. And so on. Okay. Uh, also, the reason that I didn't use the green herb after I got it is because right after that area, there's another item dispenser that okay. has a red herb. Alrighty. And then that'll upgrade your green herb. Okay, so I'm... I'm just gonna fish this guy out. You know, it's like good old, good old catfishing, you know. Just gotta, just gotta dig him out. Just gotta dig him out. Just gotta dig him out. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just dig him out. Just a little bit, man. Okay. Hardy. My heart is pounding. That's fine. I can take one bite from him. Oh. Oh my god. Now back away before you shoot him and get poisoned again. Oh my god. I mean, like, still kill him, but... Stop! Stop! Uh, Robert! Uh... Wait, 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 wait. You might be able to go. Go. Robert! Uh, Kendo! Robert's not here. No. no, but this guy's name is Robert Kendo. Oh, yeah. Okay, should I... So the blue herb gets rid of your poison. Okay. Okay, should I do it now? Might as well. Okay. I mean, you could have also just gotten rid of the poison and then gotten a red herb up here. Oh my god, duh. Well, I can just have both. Well, you can get another green herb, too, from this item dispenser, I think. I think Mr. Rex is in here. Oh, fuck! I didn't get that backpack! No, you did not, and you- No! <laughs> 
there's a backpack over there. Okay. I don't know when your next green herb's gonna be. That's all right. I you, just you can't use it as. Oh it is. no! <laughs> your red no. only enhances the other two. No! Why did I do this? You made me do <laughs> this! You <laughs> son of a <laughs> bitch! You made me do this! Die! What? It's another gun. Uh, hold the aim button after you shoot it if you're gonna get it, and it'll do more damage. Hold it, the aim button. Holy fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Daddy, quit! Stop! Daddy! Uh... No, that one's mine. No, no, I'm dead. Yep. I'm gay. I know. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not. I'm not. Uh... What do you think? Call that an episode? Sure. It's an episode. All right, everybody. Thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Zanosaurus Rex. Check me out on YouTube. I I have very shitty videos, but I'm gonna start posting more. Please. Please, I want to do more than just sitting and registering patients. Please, the people are nice there that I work with, but God, please, 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 I'm making you, please. I hope you enjoyed. Have a happy whatever. Whatever, whatever, as in, like, morning, day, night, whatever. Whatever morning, day, night you happen to have. Have a happy one. I'm showing Darren a picture and... of a funny monkey. There we go. And always remember that your future is unwritten. So make it a good one. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.